hey guys welcome back to simtech channel this is tutorial number five on the series of electrical power distributor as an electrical engineer you know the business of distributing electricity is of utmost importance to you so you have to ensure that you do it in the most efficient and safe way now in order to do that you have to understand exactly what is going on in your distribution system now if you find simtech channel very useful for your community please subscribe and always give a thumbs up that will be much appreciated now in this tutorial we're going to once again discuss uh, a two-wire uh, distributor uh, system so basically the problem statement is that we've got a two-wire ring man that is uh, four kilometer of length and we have 250 volt fed at point a and we've got loads which are uh, connected right from point b 1.5 kilometer we've got 80 amps and two kilometers which is at point c we've got 100 amps load that is in the opposite direction now they're telling us that if the resistance per 100 meters of a single conductor is 0 0.03 ohm so that is basically um three milli ohm per 100 meters so we need to find the current in each section and the voltages at point b and c now before you begin always ensure that you are able to draw and capture whatever the problem statement is so so doing that you come up with a correct uh, picture that is descriptive of your problem and that way it will ensure that you give the appropriate or administer the appropriate solution to your problem. Now, the following picture is basically uh, sums up or capture your problem statement. Now that you have it, you can then go ahead and start working from here to solve all the questions you have here. Okay. Now, so first off, let's complete this uh, diagram here so that we can get the full picture. So we know that here is the input, right? Okay, so that is 250 volt. So we got 250 volt here. And then uh, 1.5 kilometer from the 250 volt, we've got a load here, all right? That is point B. So this is point B. Then they say, well, there is another load, which is point C, okay? That is 100 amp okay so this is uh 100 amp okay situated two kilometer from a in the opposite direction right so it basically means here if you continue in the same direction here and you have this point here it's not going to be two kilometers because the ring is in total four kilometers so basically mean if this point here is a center and this is also the center so basically at this point here you've got two kilometer already so if you continue down here you're going to have two something kilometer so because it must only be two kilometer then it must be from the opposite direction so which mean here the current is flowing from this direction here right now the first question here is basically we need to calculate the current in each section right so the current in each section basically means from this point here to this point there is a certain current now here which current do we have here let's assume that uh, the current we denote it as x is flowing in this way here so this is x is our current okay and we come here right now this is 80 amps from this point here we're going to have the current x minus this current here so we're going to have x minus 80 amps at this point right and then continuing down here oh we come from the opposite direction okay so we're going to have another current if we take it going this way this current is going to be x minus 180 why 180 because we've got another current adding up to this current from point B, right? Because we've got a 100 amp current from point C adding up to the overall current. And then we're going to get X minus 180 at this point, right? 
Now let's go ahead and start solving. So question one, the current in each section. So the current in each section, basically what we have to do now here is X here, we know it's a current. So we can write I A B is equal to X amp, right? Then the current between B and C will be I P C that must be equal to X minus 80 amp. The current between C and A, that will be I A C is going to be X minus 180 amps. So this is all the equation for the current that we have. Except that we don't know what is X. So it is not a matter for us uh, calculating or determining what is X. Now before we can find the value of X, let's first deduce what is the value of the resistor for each one of these sections. Because we know that the problem statement says here that there is a, a 0, 0,03 ohm resistor on each 100 meters. Okay? So that basically means if R, okay, if R is equal to 0, 0, 0, 0,003 per 100 meters, okay? So this basically means we can calculate the resistance for every section. So, that mean here, we can say that RAB, right? So, that's the resistance on this section, which have a length of 1.5 kilometer. So, that resistance is equal to 0, 0,003 times 1,500 divided by 100 meters, okay? So, 1,500 meters divided by 100 meters and we get a value of 0, 0,045 ohm okay and the resistance on a section uh, denoted r a c okay which is a two kilometers section okay so that will be 0, 0,003 you guessed it so 2000 meters divided by 100 meters and that gives us a resistance value of 0, 0,06 ohm. Okay. Then there is another resistance on this section here that is between B and C. Now, what is the distance here? Now, because we know that the whole ring is supposed to be 4 kilometers. So if there is 1.5 and 2 kilometers, so that basically we have a 500 meters that is unaccounted. So we can say RBC, okay. RBC is basically 500 meters. That is equal to 0, 0,003 times 500 divided by 100. And that gives us a value of 0, 0,015 ohm. So this is basically all the value that we have for the resistors. Now from here, we can then get power voltage drop okay on each one of the section so the voltage drop on section a b right so these will then be the current on a b that is x okay times the resistance on that section that is 0, 0,045 okay so this is in volt and the next voltage drop is on this section bc so v drop section bc is going to be right so that is going to be x minus 80 amps times the resistance on that section bc it is 0, 0,015 volt it's a voltage drop then another voltage drop is on the section ac so that voltage drop, we can call it V drop, AC, is going to be X minus 180 times the resistance on that section is 0, 0,06 
then it's going to be volt. Now we can go ahead and calculate the current X. Now, because we now have all these voltage drop on each section, and we can apply catch of second law, uh, because the current here is now flowing on the positive conductor, and also there is a return current on the negative conductor. So this here is the positive conductor, and this is the negative conductor or the return part. Now, if we can apply catch of uh, second law on the positive conductor, we can say that the sum of voltage drops here can be equal to zero since there is no EMF that is formed. So we can then deduce that V A B, right? V A B plus V B C plus V A C must be equal to zero. Now, since we know all these voltages, we can then go ahead and replace them. So, VAB, what is VAB? VAB is equal to uh, 0, 0,045x, okay? VBC plus VBC here is equal to uh, 0, 0,015 times x minus 80 amps plus VAC. VAC is 0, 0,06 times x minus 180 amps. That is equal to zero. Now from here, we can basically just deduce and calculate the value of x. Now when we simplify this equation, we're going to get 0, 0,12 x minus 12 m is equal to zero from here we can deduce that x is equal to 12 positive 12 over 0 comma 12 and this is equal to 100 amps okay so now we know what is the value of x here so x here is basically 100 amps of current now, from the value of X being equal to 100 amps, you can then deduce the value of IBC by just replacing X into this uh, equation here. So, IBC will then be equal to 100 amps minus 80, and that is 20 amps. Then you can do the same with IAC, okay? That will be uh, X minus 180, so you're going to get a negative current so that is going to be minus 80 amps okay now why is this negative well the problem statement say that this is a uh, two kilometer in the opposite direction so we can deduce that the current was flowing in the other direction of the circuit so it is 80 amps now we move to the second question, which is the voltages at point B and C. So that is the potential difference here at B, okay, and here at C. Now it is important that we know that there is a difference between the voltage drop, okay, across uh, the, 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 the sections here and the voltage at a particular point. That is the voltage which this load here of 80 amps is seeing. Okay, this load is not seeing the voltage drop, but it is seeing the voltage at point B minus a voltage drop. So, the way we're going to calculate this voltage is we now need to take account of the negative uh, wire as well. So, which means the resistance that we're going to use now to calculate is uh, the voltage drop that must be subtracted here must be take account of the return wire. So, question two here, we're going to say V drop between a and b okay so v drop between a and b will basically be equal to the current okay the current uh at point a and b where is the current at point a and b how much did we find that current uh we say it was 100 amps right so it is 100 amps times the resistance now the resistance that we calculated for that section was 0, 0,015. But now, because, because, uh, because this is now 
taking account of the actual potential at the point so we need to consider the voltage drop on the return path basically on the negative wire so we basically going to say 0, 0,045 okay then the whole thing must be times 2 like that so that we can consider the voltage drop on both the negative and positive wire now if you calculate this you're going to get 100 amps times 0, 0,045 times 2 you're going to basically get 9 volt now you have to take the 9 volt here now take the 9 volt and then subtract the 9 volt from the 250 and that should give you the voltage at point b so basically as simple as that vb will be 250 okay minus 9 okay and that is going to be equal to 241 volt so this is the voltage at point uh, vb here so you've got 241 volt okay now you are moving on you now need to find the voltage at point c okay so equally so you have to calculate the voltage drop across this point here so the voltage drop v drop okay v drop what ac so v drop ac between point a and c that is going to be the current at that point so we're going to take 80 amps times okay the resistance at that point is equal to 0, 0,06 0, 0,06 okay then we must times everything times 2 then it will give us a voltage drop of 9,6 volt okay then we take this 9,6 volt we subtract it okay we subtract it from where we're going to subtract it from the source voltage which is 250 now we cannot subtract it from the 241 volt because this the problem statement say this load here is flowing from the opposite direction so it is flowing this way it's not flowing this way okay so which means the voltage okay that c is getting from is not getting it from the voltage at point b otherwise we need to take the the, the this 241 minus a 9.6 to get the voltage at point c no but because it's flowing from the opposite direction then we have to say okay vc is equal to 250 minus 9.6 and that's going to give us 240.4 volt okay so this is the voltage at this point here 240.4 volt okay so this is basically this for this uh, tutorial thank you very much for watching and uh, i hope you find it useful and please uh, give it a thumbs up and i will appreciate you subscribing to simtech channel as well until next time stay tuned for more tutorial like this if you have any question a comment please drop it in the comment box and i will attend to it as soon as i can until next time cheers